Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the linkage between the small, medium and large scale industries guys. So basically few things could be created by small scale industries and can be used by other industries. And sometimes some products which are created by the large scale industries could be used by other industries. So basically the linkage between them should be in a proper way. So they should always be ready to share their products, share their things, share their needs, share their work and all those things, right? So only then they could sustain in the society, right? Yes. So the relationship between the large medium, okay, just give me a second guys. The relationship between the large scale, medium scale and small scale industries should be mutually beneficial and helping each other. Okay. So they should help each other rather than competing and conflicting. So they should not compete. Like I will be making the best product. You are not good at that. Not good at making the product. You should not fight like that. You should all togetherly success, right? Yes. So large scale industries undertake the manufacturing of much bigger and complex machines. So basically small scale will take some small, small products, right? So if you ask me some example for small scale industry, so the best example will be the nuts and bolts guys. So basically for almost any kind of thing, any kind of machinery or any kind of thing which we use nowadays, it is having small, small nuts and bolts, right? Yes. So a particular small scale industry will create them, right? So we'll, we'll develop them, right? Yes. We'll manufacture them. Okay. Yes. So those are things that could be used by any other industries. Like they could be used by medium scale, large scale industries. Right. Yes. So that is nothing but the use of small scale industries guys. Okay. Similarly, large scale industries undertake the manufacturing of a big, big component. So basically they will be taking big, big components. Right. Okay. And in terms of large number and large capacities, they will be making building things guys. Okay. Yes. So the first thing that they link in between is nothing but a job subcontracting guys. Okay. So assume that you are the owner of a large scale industry. Okay. And you want, okay, let, let us go through the theory and then I'll be explaining guys. The large business provide, provides materials and components to small units who process, say, process some into finished goods. Okay. Yes. So assume that you are the big owner of the company. Okay. And you got a huge contract of something guys. Okay. So those are something you want to build it, but you are low on some items. So you are getting 10 items less per day production okay and now you want to get this 10 products but your machinery is not capable of doing the requirement so you can outsource this you can give it as a subcontractor to a small scale industry who can do those 10 components in a single day right because the machinery and all those things of a small scale industry will be a bit low right yes so that is the reason why these things can be done so like subcontracting can be done similarly purchasing subcontracts okay so in this case the materials in, pro in produced by small scale units who manufacture a specific part or a component needed by a particular large unit. So basically I told you, right? So I gave you example of nuts and bolts. So the same example will work really well in this concept, guys. So assume that you are a small owner of a small company where you create bolts and nuts, guys. So where you manufacture them, okay? And assume that your friend is having a large company and whenever he needs nuts and bolts, he'll be coming and purchasing from you, right? So that concept is nothing but purchase sub contracting okay yes similarly complementary so complementary from the name only you can say you will be getting in exchange of something so you will be giving something and he'll be returning something so those that comes under the complementary i think in theory i return it in the wrong way guys so please correct it okay let us continue just give me a second okay so the next is nothing but merchandising or commercial trading so in this case of the small unit manufacturer the goods and bit units so bit units are nothing but the small components which they are building on the strength of their financial power market, power market, sell it with their own brands like fans machines. So basically fans, watch machines and all those things are really small, small components, right? Yes. So basically these things could be built by a small industry, like the scale or the number of items produced might be less, but they can produce them, right? Yes. So those come on, comes under this merchandising or commercial trading. Okay. Similarly, maintenance and repair. So basically whenever large scale industries are building some components, if they only take those repair services and all those things, that could be an issue, right? Yes. So that is the reason why always the maintenance and all those things, maintenance service and all those things are given to the small scale industries so that they get employment and they can earn some money, right? Yes. So that is the reason why we added this also in between the linkage. Similarly, social benefits. So basically only a single industry, like only large scale industry will not help the society guys. We need all three industries in a proper way and in a proper proper linkage way like one is helping others in that way right so this is all about the linkage between the 
large small scale medium scale and large scale industries okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea so in the next lecture we will be discussing about a various type of entrepreneurs guys okay sorry enterprises okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching